going on everybody? Welcome back to Rack and Rock Chronicles here on YouTube and today we are going to talk fly fishing but not specifically the gear list. Um, it can be on the gear list if you want it to be um, but again the way we followed uh, off of our hunting list and our fly fishing list this fits the bill but this is more so, you've heard me mention a couple times now about our new show that we're releasing this summer called Trout Trails, which is a fly fishing only show. Uh, mainly for trout, but you'll see some saltwater action, you'll see some bass action, panfish, all that fun stuff, but it's all done on a fly rod. And uh, so the companies that you have seen in rods and reels off the backcountry gear list, um, Monic, Jackson Hole Fly, Syndicate, Yampa, JP Ross, um, Range Reels, uh, Galvin, the Grizzly from Jackson Hole Fly, Monic Fly Lines, um, those guys are, we're going to be working with those guys on the show. So uh, these are not paid advertisements, number one. Um, two, because they helped us do the backcountry gear list, we wanted to show some love and help uh, show that product more in use. Um, so yes, you will see demo videos that are part of the backcountry gear list, but we will also be using them um, for this year for the show. So we've actually started doing some filming already for that show. Again, it's not going to release till we're assuming June, we're hoping June, worst case scenario in July, um, but it will be up to date, um, all filmed this year. It's not stuff that we've been filming in the past. So with that note, one of the companies that... Uh, we are going to be working with on that show is a brand based out of Idaho. Um, we're really hoping we get to go out and fish with these guys. Uh, if not this year, next year for sure. But uh, they make, um, if you notice anything about me, I wear a lot of different hats. You've seen Keith, you've seen the team from Rack and Rob, we're all a little different. Um, we don't try to play the celebrity role. Um, we're everyday people. We all have our own little quirks. Um, we all have our own style per se. Uh, but one thing that I wanted to do with Trout Trails is I wanted to make sure that it was as different as possible. Um, so with Trout Trails, there's going to be a lot of history or background on the area or the waterway that we're fishing. Um, so you're going to see that in the episodes. Um, we're actually working with a few different conservation agencies here in Pennsylvania to shoot a small film uh, specific on one river that is local. Um, but, you know, we want it to be different. There's a lot of fishing shows. We didn't want to just be another fishing show. Uh, very similar to Rack and Rod, we didn't want to be another hunting show. So I started looking at some different gear, and obviously you saw my drift. Uh, pant waders, which look like a pair of jeans, which I, I can't wait for the water to go down. All of our snow that was here is melted. Uh, it's been decently warm, but now it's raining today, so the water's been up a little bit. I haven't been able to really jump out into the stream with my pant waders yet. But uh, along those lines, we wanted to find something that was different that, you know, you're going to see us in. 90% of the time, uh, aside from a t-shirt if it's really hot or, you know, whatever. Um, so this company, uh, the actual parent company is called Cognito Brands. And Cognito Brands makes a few different lines of apparel. So one, very specific for Trout Trails, is called Fin Cognito. And Fin Cognito is fishing apparel. Uh, they all have... All kinds of things, but they have heavyweight or you know heavier weight hoodies. So if it's a little chilly outside, chilly in the morning when you're getting on the water, you have a, a little bit heavier hoodie to keep you warm. They have a sun hoodie which has the UPF uh, coatings uh, or fabric in the in the shirt in the hoodie itself. Um, they have sun shirts. They have arm sleeves. They have gloves for women. They have leggings. Um, but what's really cool is they're all printed and it's a sublimated type of print so that it's not like a screen print that just you know after time it'll wear off um, this is actually built into the fabric so it's awesome stuff but before we get into showing you the apparel I wanted to show you 
why I chose these guys, why, you know, to reach out and see if they'd be willing to work with us. And they were. Um, and as most of you know, you know, standing out sometimes isn't exactly the way to do it. But with these guys, it's pretty awesome. So one of the accessories they also do besides their apparel is dry bags. Now, when you're filming or you have cameras with you, obviously keeping them waterproof or away from the water uh, the best possible, um, that's very important to us. You know, camera equipment is, is not inexpensive and for the, because we are now filming two shows, we can't afford to have a camera go down. Um, so without further ado, check out the Fincognito dry bag. Now this is just one of them. Keith got a different version, but this is the brown trout version and that thing is just killer. Um, so these are all artist renditions and I saw it somewhere, maybe it was on the roll top, but even on the apparel, again because these are artist renditions, man I thought I saw, I saw it somewhere on here. Yep, there it is. So the artist who drew the actual print is always on the apparel so they get their credit um, but this is a pretty big dry bag guys so you see a lot of folks nowadays when they're waiting they have a dry bag with them that's a backpack style um, you know a lot of the again I'm using my air quotes the the brand names um, make them but why um, why not support somebody that's more involved in the, in the fly fishing uh, community. Um, the owner, Doug, is a big fly fisherman. Uh, again, lives in Idaho, and that's where the company is based out of. And man, I, I see pictures that he's shown me of him fly fishing, and it makes me a tiny bit jealous that I can't, you know, go fish where he's fishing. But uh, so this is pretty big bag. I do have all of our apparel in here, my apparel anyway. Uh, Keith has his as well. But um, we'll get to those in another video because I'm going to actually wear them. But uh, again, backpack style, straps, roll top closure. And what's really nice is these pockets that are on the sides um, are good for two things. So there's one on each side of the bag. One, they are a drink holder or a water bottle holder when not have, holding a rod tube in there. So you can actually pack in for a day and have both your rods with you. Um, you can have your you know, camera gear inside, clothing, extra, whatever. Um, maybe it's an overnight type deal. You can get a small tent in there, your sleeping bag, everything, everything stays waterproof. And you can go out and fish and enjoy yourself and all your gear stays protected. So you will see these because obviously again, with cameras, um, when our boat gets here from River Rat USA, um, they have a dry bag storage. It's underneath one of the seats, which is a great place for it, but it also has a gear rack on the back. Um, so we'll be able to either put our cooler up there if it's just a day trip, or if we know that we're gonna camp, you know, on the river somewhere, if we're not in the truck, um, you know, we can keep that stuff in that bag, but our camera gear can stay mobile and can go into this bag. So we're super excited about that. Um, and if any of you, happen to know any dealers, especially if you're on the East Coast because this is a West Coast or Western based co uh, company. Um, we would love to get some information on any fly shops that you think as you start seeing this apparel um, that would be interested in carrying Fincognito uh, to reach out to us and uh, we will make the connections happen. But um, I'll kind of show you one piece. This is just a, a quick easy one. Um, and if you look, this print is the same print as my bag. So that's pretty cool. Um, again, the artist is right here. It's Ryan Keen. So this is uh, basically a net gator. Um, it can be worn in a bunch of different ways. We'll throw it on here for you real quick. So COVID times, obviously, face mask. Fishing times, I can protect my ears um, from you know the sun. I can protect the back of my neck from the sun. Um, helps keep me cool if I'm sweating. 
and it's just you know obviously you're going to stand out a little bit with uh, this pattern on so it's awesome that uh, that matches the bag so especially if you're fishing and you have your bag on you have your net gator that matches uh, it's going to look like you almost planned it but you will see a bunch more from Fincognito um, you can also go to their website they do Mountain Cognito which uh, translates a little bit into the hunting world uh, but they also have some ski and some climbing uh, apparel there and again all of these prints are sublimated into the shirt so they're not just going to fall off they're in the fabric um, they also do another one for surfers or for just ocean lovers uh, called Ocean Cognito so you will see more on the Fin Cognito you will see all the apparel I'll actually put it on um, other than that guys uh, you've seen me wearing this hat lately um, this is my new favorite fishing hat so uh, our good friend Bridget out in Utah who owns Chunky Trout Outfitters um, made this hat um, she sells them on her website they're awesome um, so obviously being from Pennsylvania I'm a huge Brookie fan and that's a brook ball um, so big fat chunky brookies are awesome and uh, so Show Bridget some love and purchase a hat when you have a second. But uh, other than that, guys, Fincognito, you will see a bunch more in the next couple episodes of this here on YouTube. And uh, other than that, click that little subscribe button and we will talk to you later.